Hello everyone, I am Bogdan and in this video we are trying to answer the question of when you should clean the intake manifold of your BMW 520, 530, N47 or N57 engine. One of the common issues that you will see on diesel engines will be quite extensive carbon buildup in the intake plumen, on the intake ports and on the valves. This is not something specific to BMW. Other car makers have the same problem and if we think about it, it's not something specific only to diesel engines because the newer petrol engines, the, one that's, the ones that are direct injected will suffer from the same issue. So let's ask the question of why is this happening? The reason for this to happen is because we have a crankcase ventilation system that is inputting oil vapor in the intake and when these oil vapors are getting in contact with the EGR gases the perfect conditions are met for that carbon buildup to happen. So we know why it happens, we know that we cannot do anything to the EGR to or we shouldn't do anything to the EGR to stop it from working. We could consider introducing a catch can but sometimes that complicates the, the build and also it's not a very price friendly upgrade. So eventually we reach the point in which we will need to clean that intake manifold. One of the specific things or one of the interesting things about BMW engines is that they are allowing you to remove the intake manifold without removing the high pressure fuel system. And this is a very important thing. It is a very important thing because you will be able to do this work at home without any specialized BMW tools. And trust me when I'm telling you that uh, not having to, to prime a uh, diesel, uh, diesel high pressure system is quite a, a big, big thing. I've done it in the past. It is very delicate. It is very time consuming. Uh, you will smell as diesel and it can become stress stressful, especially when you're cranking the engine and nothing happens. I'm tempted of saying that no, that was the moment when I was saying that I will give up working on cars and start farming or doing something else. But coming back to our engine, uh, we understand why this is happening. Let's consider a little bit or let's talk about the factors that will influence the amount of carbon buildup that you will have on your, on your intake. Because not all cars will be doing the same type of mileage. We need to consider what type of, of journeys you have done with that car. So if you're doing short journeys and the engine is not able to go to its optimum operation temperature, you will have more carbon buildup. If you aren't servicing um, your engine at a decent servicing interval, um, by BMW's recommendations, many cars will be running a condition-based service system and that might allow you to, to drive 24,000 miles with the same oil, which is kind of a lot. So shorter servicing intervals will help. Um, sporty driving, sporty driving, especially when the engine is cold, that will influence overall the carbon buildup. And it's a very strange system overall because the amount of carbon buildup will have to do with the amount of oil that is reaching in your intake. So the healthier your engine is, the less oil is reaching in your intake. And also you need to take into account the health of your EGR system. If your EGR system is permanently open, again, a lot of, a lot of carbon buildup. So there are many factors that can contribute to the amount of carbon buildup. And this is the reason why we need to answer or we need to ask the question of when should you be cleaning that intake manifold? Based on my experience of owning the 530D for almost two years, I would say that you should consider cleaning your intake 
if one of the following conditions is met. If more than one is, is met, you have even more reason for, for cleaning this intake. So um, if you are seeing DTCs regarding the swirl flaps, that is a very clear indication that something is happening in your intake. If you are considering or if you need to change the glow plug, a glow plug, all glow, all glow plugs or the glow plug control module. The first thing that I had to change on my car was the glow plug control module. And the symptom that, um, that I was feeling was that the car was shaking, shaking quite bad the first thing in the morning. So when I was starting the car, two, three seconds, five seconds, the car would shake. After that, if I would rev it a few times, everything would be okay. I've seen the DTCs regarding the swirl flaps. I've seen a DTC regarding the glow plug control module. So two conditions were met exactly at the same time. And I went for cleaning and changing the glow plug control module. At the same time, although it was, or although it happened later, I was planning of remapping the engine. So my third um, condition for, or my third reason for cleaning the intake is if you want to remap your engine. Why is that? Um, for you to get more power from an engine, you need to use more fuel. For you to use more fuel in an efficient manner, you need more air to burn it completely. If your intake is full of that carbon buildup, you're not able to introduce in the combustion in the combustion chamber enough air. So it's a no-brainer, you need to clean the intake. I would also consider cleaning the intake if your car has more than 100,000 miles. Kind of that is a round number for sure at that mileage you have good a good carbon buildup in your intake. Uh, what else? I would consider cleaning the intake if after removing my map sensor, and this is like old school without diagnostic tools, if I'm removing the map sensor and inspecting it and it's full of carbon, that is like, um, indicator that the same carbon buildup will be in the, um, in the intake. Now, I hope that this video helps. If I forgot something or if you have ideas for future videos, please let me know in the comments below. Also share your opinion. Maybe you have other experiences or other ideas of checking for carbon buildup. Oh, uh, I, I almost forgot. Uh, you should also clean your uh, intake if you are running the ISTA D intake port suiting test and the results are very bad. Check out our previous video. We are going through the test and showing you the results. That is a very good test and it's a good indication of how your, your intake looks like. Saying that, I hope that this video helps and I shall be seeing you in the next one.